patient and dentist can jointly select the target shade using Coltein Whale Dents Shade Guide. The shape and size of the companies to be placed can be determined by using the Contour Guide. The companies are individually packaged. The sheet on the reverse side serves for patient documentation. The componier is removed with a pair of tweezers. Before the preparation, the dentine and enamel shade are determined cervically and incisally, respectively, on the teeth using the shade guide. The prepared rubber dam is placed over the dental arch and fixated distally by clamps. This is followed, if necessary, by a reduction of the surface of the teeth, removing as little dental hard tissue as possible. A defined preparation margin, as well as shortening of the incisal edges, is not necessary. Special attention should be given to cervical parts of the enamel. The enamel is also treated interdentally to improve conditioning. Shape and size are rechecked after preparation before the componier is removed from its packaging. Shapes are corrected if necessary by using a low RPM disc operated in a dry oral environment. Corrections of shape for cervical contour and incisal length can now be checked directly on the tooth. The etching gel is applied to the teeth and distributed to all surfaces by using a brush. After 30 seconds, the gel is thoroughly sprayed off for 30 seconds and air dried. One coat bond is distributed evenly to all teeth and massaged in. The reaction time is 20 seconds. The bond is then blown to a thin layer and excess bond is aspirated. Separators are now placed to ensure clear tooth access. The selected luting composite is applied directly to the tooth and evenly distributed. One coat bond is applied to the inner surface and the margins, blown to a thin layer and not pre-cured. The luting composite is also applied to the componier in order to avoid air inclusions. Exact marginal adaptation is important. The first componier is placed on the tooth using a pair of tweezers. The placer with its silicon attachment enables an even pressure to be applied which does not vary in direction. The excesses are removed by cutting with the spatula specially designed for the purpose and the composite is adapted exactly to the marginal areas. With the companiers in the correct position, the companiers are light cured, firstly palatally and then buccally, each for 30 seconds. Further companiers follow in the same fashion. The marginal areas can be sealed with a flowable composite to ensure marginal integrity. Large excesses are removed palatally with a pear-shaped coarse diamond burr and the surface continuity checked by a probe. Cervical areas, especially towards the interdental areas, are treated with a thin 40 micrometer flame-shaped diamond burr. Occlusion is checked before polishing and occlusal contouring is carried out if necessary. Cervical polishing is carried out with 8 micrometer ultrafine diamond burrs. The proxo-shaped files are recommended for smooth transitions. Interdental contouring is carried out using diamond coated strips, followed by polishing with ever finer foil strips. Thin discs are suitable for the inter-incisal angle. The marginal ridges are contoured by bell-shaped pre-polishers and high-gloss polishers with air cooling. Patient and dentist jointly assess the appearance of the restoration at the end of the treatment and a follow-up appointment is agreed where extensive restorations have been carried out. The companies integrate harmoniously as regards luster and sheen with their surroundings, giving the patient an attractive smile.